first altcoin of the day that I've chosen to showcase to you today is Solana Baby. A bit of Solana coming through here. As you can see, guys, we're going to be starting off here on the daily. Um, you can see this. We've had very, very, very nice progression to the upside here for Solana ever since Elon and Jack jumped on that B word conference um, on the on the 21st of July, as you can see here. Um, even from there, obviously, that was the, that was the bull run coming through there. We have actually seen insane price progression right there. Um, I think it was 830 percent from that um, from that high low all the way up to that high there. No, just over a thousand percent. So just un unbelievable gains coming through there. For Solana, so what does that tell us? A pullback is needed. A pullback was in order. After banging it a thousand percent, guys, you're likely to see a pullback, right? And this is um this is obviously what we're seeing here. Overall, still insanely bullish on Solana. I still think we've got a hell of a long way to go. Um, I do think Solana is still insanely under underpriced, and 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 the price for Solana will be banging it insanely high. It's probably looking at five hundred bucks in in probably the next six months or something along the lines of that, right? I do think we're looking for more progression. Um. And um, as you can see here, we have seen quite a nice bit of progression today, right? What I would say is there's quite a few chart patterns I do want to run through here, guys. And we do obviously have that upward sloping support line um, coming through there um, from the from the previous, previous pumps right there, from the previous all-time highs there. Um, and this is obviously going to be acting as a pretty heavy level of support if we do actually see Bitcoin dumping down again. Solana is probably going to come down to this zone and then bounce from there, guys. That's going to be the bounce point to be looking out for there for Solana. In terms of what we're seeing today, guys, we're seeing quite a nice bit of progression. Over the last day or so, actually, the last two days have been quite bullish. Um, hopefully finding a bottom here on the day before and then hopefully just setting these higher lows um, and... and, and um, Setting these high lows and and holding them, not just leaving them um leaving them out to dry in a sense, right? In terms of target prices for Solana right now, we've got obviously got this um this level of support, right? This upwards, this, sorry, this downward sloping support line coming through there, very 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 strong in terms of support, guys. So hopefully we can see us actually bang above this and actually find that support, and then we could be looking at definite higher prices there. But you can see we've already got rejected once along this zone. So what's to say we're not going to get rejected again? Nothing. One seven three, one seven two. That sort of area is going to be the is going to be the area to watch. We've got the ten simple coming down as well. Going to be acting as resistance. If we can find support, hello money, cold hard cash. We're going to be looking at really really quite nice progression to the upside from there. That's something I would be looking for there. We've got all major moving averages to be getting over, so I'm not just going to be blindly longing Solana right now. Obviously, I do have my Solana hodl, um, but this area is just too full of noise, too full of resistance to be really just having that confidence to long through it. Um, I would be looking for a congruent breakout in the future. The congruent breakout in the future that I would be looking for here is going to be, you can see this um, this downward sloping resistance line coming through here, guys. Very, very strong stuff indeed. Um, you can see the resistance that we have found off this zone multiple times. If we can get a breakout scenario from this, then there's going to be progression to the upside, right? In terms of progression to the upside, I want to be looking for something around this, guys. Something around this, in terms of a measure move, this is um this is around something I'd be looking for around twenty three point zero five percent there. Um, it's gonna be quite nice. It's gonna be quite nice if we can get that breakout scenario. So that's what we'll be looking for on the macro scale. We do have the volume weighted ATR band to get over as well, and if we can find support on that, you know the money we can be making there. So yeah, that's what I would be looking for there in terms of um a nice, nice long position for Solana for the future. Now jumping down to the shorter term time frames, talking about this um talking about this pump that we are seeing today. As I said, I want to see us clear this trend line. I want to see us find support on this trend line um, and just see progression to the upside. Not to blindly long it, but just um, just <laughs> just to, just to see a bit more progression to the upside for Solana because we are overdue that. And it has been um, it's been sleeping for a while now. So um, wake up, Solana. Um, it's time to go to the party and moon. <laughs> Um, in terms of a target point, as I was saying, this trend line is going to be very strong. And also, we do have a very strong lower high as well, guys. If we can get over this lower high, um, and it's going to be around the same sort of 174 scenario there. If we can get over that, then there's going to be another point of confirmation that we can be looking for for progression to the upside as well there. Not too bad at all. We've got the DMI here. Um, it's ever so close to a bullish crossover, guys. Ever so close to a bullish crossover. When we see this bullish crossover come through... And the ADX is really, really quite high at 33. That's an indication that we're going to have a nice, strong uptrend as well there. So whether that crossover is going to be happening when we have that support, that's going to be an indication that we are going to be banging up higher as well. So yeah, another, another star aligning there for us to be looking out for there. Um, let's move down to the shorter term timeframes because. Um, in terms of buying opportunities for Solana right now, obviously we have banged it up quite recently. I probably wouldn't be looking at buying Solana until I know we've got that level of support there. Not um. Not 
I'm not saying like buying it for like a spot long. I'm talking like adding to your hodl if you're going to be adding to your hodl because that's going to be um that's going to be more of a confirmed sort of um buying opportunity there. Um, because we can easily easily get resistance here and bang it back down and set a new low, right? Um, with the, with the state of crypto at the moment as well, um, we could easily take another leg down, guys. But um, if we are looking for another buying opportunity, that's what I would be looking for there. <sighs> around that 175, 176 sort of area there for Solana. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much what I would say about Solana there, guys. Just overall, that's probably going to be your daily update today on Solana.